Welcome to an introduction to angles. The goals of this video are to know the basic angle vocabulary and also to determine how angles are measured. A portion of a line that starts at a point A and continues through B is called a ray. Ray AB can be written using this notation. An angle consists of two rays with a common endpoint. The two rays are called the sides of the angle and the common endpoint is called the vertex. So here we have the vertex, here we have one side, here we have another side. There are a couple ways to identify angles. If we call this point A, B, and C, there's only one angle at vertex B. We can simply just call this angle B. However, we can also call this angle A, B, C and the important part is that the vertex is the variable in the middle. Now it is true that an angle can also be formed by two segments with a common endpoint. Each angle has a measure generated by the rotation about the vertex. The measure is determined by the rotation of the terminal side about the initial side. So here's our initial side and the second ray or the terminal side has been rotated to this position and when the rotation is counterclockwise, it's a positive angle. If the rotation is clockwise, it's a negative angle. The units used to measure an angle are either degrees or radians. We will start by discussing degrees. For degree measure, we assign 360 degrees to a complete rotation of the ray. You can think of this as the second ray going all the way around the circle. Therefore, one 360th of a complete rotation gives an angle of one degree. Angles can be classified based upon their measure. The Greek letter theta is often used to name each angle. So let's take a look at the different types of angles. If an angle measures between zero and 90 degrees, as we see here, it's called an acute angle. An angle that equals exactly 90 degrees is a right angle. And then any angle between 90 and 180 is called an obtuse angle until we reach an angle of exactly 180 degrees, which is a straight angle, then any angle between 180 degrees and 360 degrees is called a reflex angle, and then once we reach 360 degrees, it's called a full angle. Let's take a moment to see how we measure angles. In trigonometry, we do not spend much time measuring angles, but in geometry you do. And the way you measure angles is with a tool called a protractor, which we see here. For example, if we had an angle here between these two red rays, we can see that it measures 73 degrees by lining up the initial ray here and measuring from the terminal side. Now some protractors have 360 degrees, but most only have 180. So if we had an angle that was more than 180 degrees, we would have to rotate this protractor to find the full measure of that angle. Let's go ahead and take a look at complementary and supplementary angles. If the sum of the measures of two positive angles is 90 degrees, the angles are called complementary. So in this case, we have the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals 90 degrees. Now if the sum of two angles now, if the sum of the measures of two positive angles is 180 degrees, the angles are called supplementary. So in this case, we'd have the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals 180 degrees. Let's go and take a look at a couple examples. The two angles are complementary. One angle measures 5x degrees while the other measures 4x degrees. What is the measure of each angle? So we start with a right angle. We can divide it into two different angles, where one angle is equal to 5x degrees and the other is equal to 4x degrees. And for these examples, I'll leave the units off until the end. So if they're complementary, we'd have 4x plus 5x equals 90. So when we solve this equation, we have 9x equals 90, dividing both sides by 9. We can see x is equal to 10. So if this angle is 4x, or 4 times 10, here we have 40 degrees, and here we have 5 times 10, or 50 degrees. Let's take a look at one more example. Now we have two angles that are supplementary, so they would form 180 degrees. 
And it says here that one measures 7x degrees and the other one is 5x plus 36 degrees. So again, the sum of these two angles would now equal 180 degrees. So we'd have 5x plus 36 plus 7x equals 180. So we solve this equation. Subtract 36 on both sides, divide by 12. Here we have x equals 12. So if x is 12, 7 times 12 would give us 84 degrees here. And then when I replace x with 12 here, 5 times 12 plus 36 would be 96 degrees. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.